Hello everybody and welcome back to Disgaea PC. I am Buddy Bison and this is episode 25. One fourth of the way to 100, guys. Um, and about half as long as the uh, Sky 5 LP. Because that one ended at exactly 50, which is what I was happy about. Hey! What's wrong, Master? You're not having fun? I thought kids loved picnics! The sky is blue, the weather is perfect. Come on, let's sing. I'm not a kid. I'm 1,313 years old. And mentally, I'm much more mature than you two. Mature? I think you two are about the same. For your information, I'm 1,470. I'm, um, fairly young. Young? How old is young? Young is young. You're an angel, aren't you? Tell the truth. 1,509? What? You're older than me? <laughs> you old hag! So basically the ages, like I'm guessing what I can understand is the ages in Disgaea is that like the thousand mark and then the 100 is kind of like the age so Laharl is 13 and is 14 and Flan is 15. I'm not old. That's amazing. No one would think you're that old. Hm. That's why humans act so foolishly. They judge solely on looks. Ooh, you talk big. Then you shouldn't mind my body, right? Uh, w well, um... Uh... I'm getting hungry. Let's see. <laughs> Changing the subject, huh? I'll let it slide this time. Here's the picnic basket. On guard! Ah, the picnic basket! It has been a while, mademoiselle. The sweet smell of these entrees has led moi all the way here. Hey, mid-boss! Give us back our food! No, 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 no. I cannot oblige. For moi, a widower, this handmade lunch is like an oasis in a desert. I cannot give it back. You return after all this time and for a stupid reason like this? Mr. Midboss, you don't have anyone to make lunch for you? Poor thing. Stop pitying moi. That sends a sharp pain to my heart. Hold it right there. Midboss, was it? That picnic basket is mine. Give it back now. Hmm, you are human, are you not? That's right. They call me Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth. And why is the Defender of Earth picnicking with demons? Sh shut up. I'm not here because I want to be. Very well. I shall test your resolve, oh Defender of Earth. Now, can you retrieve this basket from moi? <laughs> hey, you! Wait! It's so pathetic that we put up with that idiot! Give me that picnic basket. Okay, um... Uh, okay, so it's just dragons. Dragons. More dragons, and then... Some of these guys. Okay. It's not too bad. You don't like ice. These guys, they're not very tough, which is why it's nice. Because they bring me back to the good old days and I can just one hit everybody. Um, unfortunately, speeders aren't very strong. Okay, and then I don't think she has the range to hit from here. It's not like uh, this guy five. Because bows and guns in this game act the same, whereas in the Sky 5, they're very different. And in, in, I think it's in most games, past this one, where guns are uh, unidirectional, bows are omnidirectional. Um, but guns have bigger range, and... Um, 
because I think they both have about the same like damage pool. Um, it's just a matter of omnidirection and range. So you'll get a you'll get a gun and a bow with like, the same stats, but uh, further away the bow. Or, Gun will have the advantage, but closer, but uh, well. It's really the only give and take. There's not much else. Okay. Honestly, seems pretty simple. And here's over here. Yeah, Ernest is my boy. Effectively and into good positions. Then I can power love, heal her up a good bit, bring him in. Yes. Bitch. Yeah, counter. Counters. Cross counter. That kills him. Sexy Beam goes off of her intelligence, which isn't very good. I'm not sure, though. It's not uh, nice and readable, generally. I just have to kind of infer a lot of the time. Usagi Drop. I'm going to Usagi Drop after I Hurricane Slash. Level, but she'll get the cap. Okay, 15,000. So you can you can definitely see that as you progress through the game, you just get more and more hell. Which, uh, uh, in this game, just wanted to check the friendly current count or friendly kill count. Uh, which in this game, uh, it's a lot better because of how annoying it is to go into the item world to just buy the best weapon until like you're near the end of the game and you're doing essentially post-game content. So, uh, as I said before, this game uh, does not have traditional, like, the post-game stuff that the other Disgaea games do. Um, and that's because uh, the game auto-resets. It just uh, puts you to the next uh, round, essentially, as soon as you beat the game. So, generally what you do is you get all the way up to the last stage of the last chapter, and you just don't beat the final boss. And that's just what you do. Um, okay, so that attack plus one. Recovery is also kind of shit. Worst part is they're all green. And 
there's no lifting. And the no lifting one is probably as far away as possible. Yeah, so. Um, guess I'll just. Oh, uh, yeah. No lifting. I was just thinking, like, oh, yeah, I'll just do this one simple thing. And then I realized, oh, yeah, I just said why I can't do that. I'm an idiot. Okay, so these guys aren't boosted up. We need to get to there. And, oh, whatever. And what's your move? Five, six, okay, good. You. That should be enough. Nope. God damn it! Damn, Daniel, back again with the stupid control scheme, man. survive like once. Unfortunately, the turbo is also surrendered. But I'm not too worried about that. Should be able to deal with it with other characters for the most part. I just need to get rid of that attack plus one. Because I'm guessing that this guy is going to try and stay on. That podium, that's probably how he is. These guys are both resistant to ice, which is kinda unfortunate. Kinda, kinda not. Doesn't really matter. Ugh. Stinks, because... It's just out of reach. So, I'm gonna have to... Yeah, you can run up. So that means I can't attack. Lift him. the wind, so I'm gonna giga wind. Let's 
good. Yeah. The only real reason to use monsters is because sometimes you like their moves. Um, in D2 they had a real cool mechanic I honestly really liked. And it was, um, it was like you could ride monster characters, which I thought was awesome. Um, okay. So I need to do that. Because I need to come over here. And what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to pick up and throw this. Yes. So I can. And I'll put you behind. Come over here. Ah, that's a sound bitch. have some pretty good stuff. I might try and take that King Orb, or I might try and take the better of the two defense items. Because maybe I'll be able to show off some stuff. find the one with the most hit, and you can see that gives me percentages of stealing stuff from people. Hell, I could try and steal from myself, but unfortunately, for some reason, I guess my hit and stuff aren't high enough. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's what affects the, uh, the stuff, but I'm not absolutely sure. Not absolutely free. No, you stop that. You need to snap to enemies. I wonder if it's just back attacks. But maybe it's gun? I don't know. It's so odd, because uh, Planair does so much damage to it like, compared to everyone else. Which I'm not regretting. Like, no one else was doing anywhere near that kind of damage. Even with skills. Okay. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Nope. Okay. Where did lunch go? Let's go home, it's pointless. I agree. We can't leave now, we, just, we woke up early just to make it. That's right, that's the Earth. I cannot let our food fall in the hands of evil. You're just hungry. What are you talking about this challenge about evil? I cannot turn my back on this. Dear Justice must prevail. How wonderful you really are, hero. Gordon must have Thursday search for the basket using an old factory tracking device. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That robot can fucking smell. Thursday, can you pinpoint the location where the picnic lunch smell originates? Beep, beep, boop, no problem. Analyzing air, blah, blah, small traits that sent confirmed. Uh, factory in wind vectors, which are currents lying in the area up ahead. Sarah say, hey guys, my phone is like that. Yeah, well, we can do stuff like that too, pretty useful. Of course, there's a multi-purpose super robot created Thursdays, none other than Jennifer. She was a child project and went to Thursday at the age of five, earning a PhD in every subject by the age of ten. Without her help, we would never have understood the secrets of the pyramids or solved the case of Jack the Tripper. <laughs> okay. So why are you, Brad? That's incredible, Miss Jennifer. It's nothing, really. So ditzy blonde was just not true. I guess I'm dumb blonde, but I guess I was wrong. There's the one saying not to judge by people. Like, it looks Harley. Did I say that? <laughs> anyway, so we have to get the basket back before my boss eats it all. You're right, let's go. Okay. Oh yeah, XP map. Sweet. 
as well as I expected it to go. Uh, oh, do, do. Bam. Yeah, level 50. Making strides. Yeah, let's get it right here. And away we go. Okay. You don't like fire, you don't like wind. You don't like wind. Um, let's go with wind. Okay, where's the rest of this map? Oh yeah, up there. Forgot about that. Forgot I knew exactly where they were. Boink. They always add in one generally quick, easy map, just because. Okay, cool. Slash. Bam. Whack. Thumb. She's like stereotypical angel, where then every other instance you get is like Volcanus. So they're like complete foils of the angel archetype. But then you get like certain demons. Like m a lot of demons in Disgaea 5, they're just like, yeah, we're, we're demons. We're totally demons. But, you know, none of us really act like demons ever. Uh, okay, Inferno's probably the last one. Save. Okay. And this will be the last map of the uh, of the episode. The my episode my, what a gluttonous bunch you are! Following Moa all this way. Yep. Look who's talking! Give it up! I swear by the name Defender of Earth that I'll get that basket back. <laughs> you are going to get hurt if you think that I am your average picnic basket thief. Very well, I shall demonstrate for you humans the elegant techniques of the Dark Adonis! Jojo's. Whoa! So bright! Shoot, at this rate we'll lose! Gordon! Jennifer, Thursday, let's give it a go! To protect the Earth from evil! There is no rest for the Champions of Justice. Captain Gordon, Defender of Earth, here to save the day! This isn't good. Maharo, Etna, they're stealing the show! Well, I don't really care. You should. We're joining in. What? You serious, Flan? I'm no longer ordinary Flan. I'm Guardian Flan! All right! Here we go! <laughs> They're so unenthusiastic. As long as evil exists in the world, this elegant angel will soar the skies! The people's cheers bring me courage! The warrior of love, Guardian Flan! I feel like she could have said those lines differently to be a little bit more excited. Why do I have to be part of this? I've never been so embarrassed in all my life! 
<laughs> Your teamwork is terrible compared to the defenders of Earth. Jeez, we're being laughed at because of you two. She, she's pissed, Prince. I give up. Do what you want. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Oh, God. I wish it was just you. I wish it was just this mid-boss fuck. His face looks odd. Um, okay, so he has falcon shoes. Dude. You wanna throw those knees? Uh, ice... I'm gonna nuke the hell out of you with, uh, Ernest. Ernest will have his blood debt paid in full. Damn. Nearly killed him in one hit. Get wrecked, dragon who has probably lived quite a number of years. Damn. Oh, bastard. Um, okay. Well, I guess I'll move you over here. Uh, sexy bean? Nope. Chaos effect? Nope. Mini raid? Nope. Ice? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, you're just gonna be over there. Have a fun time. Ah, yes. I can't throw you. Demolish him. Take no quarter. Take no quarter. Blade rush. And then I need one last hit on this fucker. Settings from I want to I want to see the axe. Got camera angles. He just does like a pole dance on his axe. Okay. Chop. Pig chop. Um. Do you have any cool moves? Just the Dawn of Fury. Backslash, 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 backslash. Right. Okay, and then I'm going to use a side drop on these guys. We killed one of them, but that's not the worst thing that has ever happened in the history of the world. Regulation. Hold on! Fit out for that. Not fit out, not cut out for that type of shite. But thank you for lining up oh so perfectly. Um, can't imagine having ways to survive long enough to. Uh... Are you serious? Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck. Any raid? Bam. 
Oh. oh, you don't like ice. I really don't want to die then. But I will hit you over the head with a non-metaphorical giant ice thing. Rapid fire. And last but not least, I'm gonna take the heart up. And I'm gonna take Jennifer. I'm gonna lift. I'm gonna throw it over there. And then I'm gonna. Ooh, meteor impact. Ah, oh, damn it, R. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna take Gordon. I'm gonna lift her. And throw her over. Get out of here, bitch. Let's execute. I don't want to see everything. So we got a giant ice avatar. Probably from a game. That I guess is maybe. I don't know. Doing a bit of damage. Gave a wind. There's a tornado. Drop. More bit of damage. Ready for some guns and kicking. Not much damage. Okay. Meteor impact. Yeah, okay. And that's like his super blazing knuckle. Like, because it hits every... Like, it's all around him, but it also extends for, I think it's like three blocks in each direction. So it's essentially blazing knuckle, but on steroids. Plus an XP bonus. You lose again. Now give back the picnic basket. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, I have already consumed the contents. You fiend! How dare you! That means this duel is a draw. We shall meet again. My compliments to the chef. <gasps> Our lunch! Oh, it's okay. We can always make it again. Jennifer's right. Lunches are expendable. Which reminds me, I haven't had Pizza Shack's teriyaki pizza in a long time. Uh, now then, since this is all over, we'll be heading back to Earth. There's no need to shed any tears. So long, people of the netherworld. You go, Gordon. Take it nice and easy. No one, not even a demon, can deny a man his Pizza Shack teriyaki. Pete, now, if I can just return to Earth and act like nothing ever happened. You know, I could care less about you leaving, but how do you plan on getting out of here? Huh? No! Now that you mention it, our spaceship is in pieces. We have no way of getting home. Gordon, you just realized that? Jeez Louise. Oh, my perfect plan. Too bad, Gordon. Your fate is to be my vassal. Ugh. Will we ever be able to return to Earth? Who will defend the planet now? Will my duty as defender of Earth go unfulfilled? Oh yes, I have an idea, Mr. Gordon. Why don't you change from defender of Earth to defender of the netherworld? What? I... I could never do that. Oh, come on, Gordon. The Earth isn't the only world. Our duty is to safeguard peace, whether it be on Earth or in the netherworld. Hmm, but that title doesn't sound right. Fine, I'll give you a good title. In the name of King Laharl, I knight thee, Slayer of the Netherworld! Hey, wait, that's not any better. I promoted you from being a vassal. Quit complaining. Does that mean we can stay here, Harley? 
your unusual abilities. They'll come in handy as I take control of the netherworld. Oh, I'll try to tolerate that sexy body of yours. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear the word tolerate come from his mouth. Well, that's as close to acceptance as he gets, right? Of course, it could just be that he started liking sexy bodies. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. All's well that ends well. It's not well. This is a dream. It must be a dream. Somebody tell me it's a dream. And that's how these people were welcomed into King Laharl's court. I know I helped the demons get the humans on their side. But these days, I'm not so concerned about that kind of stuff. I hope one day all angels, demons, and humans can live happily together just as we do. The end. That is not the final chapter, guys. <laughs> With the EDF Armada steadily advancing, it's up to me to protect the Netherworld! <laughs> what can a little girl do? Mega Curse Cannon! Anything in the air is toast! Hmm. Not bad. Plasma Magic Circle! Nothing can get past this baby! Ugh! Impossible! And the ultimate weapon, Love Freak Flan! With her idealistic notion of peace and love, she'll annoy you into submission! Gah, how dreadful! Next on Legend of the Netherworld Heroine Episode 11, Etna vs. EDF. Another page in the Netherworld's history. We can't just sit here. All forces, move out! Okay. Finally, the time has come. If we don't secure the Netherworld in this battle, the Earth won't last another 100 years. Capturing the Netherworld, that's our only means of survival. Uh, that is correct. Your... Is there something you want? No. I just came to make sure that you weren't backing out of this. We're preparing to launch the attack. Our fleet of space carriers was constructed using the most advanced technology. If your information is correct, then there's no way we can lose. <laughs> That's good to know. I'm counting on you. That angel, what does he hope to gain giving us information about the netherworld? No, now is not the time for second guessing. The Earth is breathing its last breath. All ships, prepare for takeoff. Earth Defense Force, move out! Episode 11, Heroes Will, Overlord's Way. Not good. Not good. Not good. This is not good at all. I must find a way to return to Earth. At this rate, I'll have no choice but to accept the job as Slayer of the Netherworld. Hmm, is there any way? Oh yeah, the EDF. When I don't return according to schedule, they'll surely come to rescue me. All right, a ray of hope. Hey, was that supposed to be you talking to yourself? I could hear every word you said. Gordon, do you really think the EDF will come to rescue us? Of course I do. I have faith in them. Prince, Prince! What? Something wrong? You've received a challenge. What? From who? Get ready for this. It's from the Defender of Earth. What did you say? That's strange. I don't remember writing a challenge. What's it say? Of Earth, I finally found you, evil overlord, the time has come to set the score, come to the forest of the dead, there you show me your doom. Uh, I 
was expecting someone to read it, but okay. Uh, this episode will only go on until the end of this cutscene. Okay, let's go. It's your duty as an overlord again? That's right. I'll pound him into submission and make him my vassal. Rejoice, Gordon! It looks like you'll be meeting a new friend! Ha 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 Okay, so with that, I'm going to end this episode here, because it's been going on for a while. So I hope you all have a very nice day.